Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lottery Lock. So, last time I dropped my DS and stopped the episode, but you know what? Who cares? It's fine. We, you didn't miss much, just uh, me talking a little bit of shit. Anyway, it's time for the fire trial. And I have a solid strategy for this. That solid strategy being the fact that I don't have to rely on just three Pokemon for once. Most of my team, with the ex most of my team, with the very small exception of my Dartrix, got this. So let's do this. Okay, so. Very close attention, people. <laughs> I don't know why, that Marowak always looks super dirty to me. Uh, I'm just gonna say the middle Marowak because it looks super dirty. Alright, we got this. Marowak, huh? Okay, so I'm going to use Cupcake for this. My reason is simple. Double resist any fire this thing can throw at me. And at least it knows Mud Bomb. Are you seriously resorting to that amateur hour ass move? Man, I just lost so much respect for you, dude. So much respect. Mud Bomb. Mm, goodbye. Okay, it's got that win pretty handily. Marowak's so pleased by your right answer that it simply had to battle you. Onward to the second dance. Oh, hello, Mr. Hiker. Now they're smiling. Hello, Mr. Hiker. Hiker David. All right, a Magmar. This should be a fun battle. Go, Cupcake. Get him, girl. All right, Cupcake, drop them bombs. Fire spin. Crap, now I can't switch her. Not that I really think I have to, but I can't now, and that's a bit of an irritation. Great job, Cupcake. Hold up, real quick. Sorry about that. Had to shift my position. I was starting to get a little uh, crampy. Onward to the final dance. <laughs> I could David shaking them booty. Uh, I think that's the most different. Yeah, I'm going to say it's the totem Pokemon just kind of mean mugging me right now. Okay, the totem Pokemon, okay, a totem Marowak is not an easy thing to fight because this guy has a thick club. It's just a really good Pokemon all around. That said, I have a lot of Pokemon to deal with it type-wise. I'm not super worried, but I know I got to be careful. The other problem is I'm afraid of switching Pokemon in on it because because it has a thick club, does a lot of damage, and can do that kind of shit. Oh, 
Okay, the other part of my strategy is to aim exclusively at the totem. Torment! Screw you! By the way, that was actually was not intentional. I just flat out missed. Or, uh, clicked the wrong button more, more over. Boy, he's coming to level up mid-battle, so that's gonna help. Jesus Lord. Okay. Can't use the same move twice. Ooh. I guess I literally have one attack that can hurt this thing. Well, Cupcake's going back in the box. Okay. You know what? Rand hasn't had a good challenge since he came out. It's his turn. Rant, use Dragon Pulse. Dragon Rage. Fucking coward. Jesus rant. Okay. Didn't call any backup. No nothing. Rant just straight up, just straight up finesse this thing. He wants to learn pluck. Actually, Barnett, yeah, you can totally learn pluck. Flying move wouldn't hurt you or his move set at all. Well, guys, Rant remains the undefeated champion so far. I gotta lie, that was a little underwhelming. I don't know about with these, but I beat it. And now Rant just got even more overpowered. Sweet and merciful lord. Rant is even stronger now. Anyway, folks, that's actually going to be the end of that episode because I'm running out of time to record. So y'all have yourself a great day. Take care, stay awesome, and Rant is the most overpowered thing alive.